Now. Okay. Here we are. Hi. Hi, uh, hi guys. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. It's one minute past one on mm -hmm. the 22nd of April. Oh my gosh. Which is Thank crazy. You. Um, do you like this time of year? Mm, okay, so. Yes, I do. It, but it depends. So I really like the um, when things get warmer, and I really like the flowers, and I love that everything comes back to life, and I love the fact it's not winter anymore because I don't like winter in general. I mean, I love the beauty of winter, but but I don't like when it's cold. So when you have this springtime, like. Um, it's like kind of chilly, we say. I don't chilly. like, yeah, I don't like chilly. I don't like yeah. yeah, it can be a bit chilly and a bit wet as well. Wet mm -hmm. and chilly. chilly. Yesterday was wet and chilly. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like that, but I mean, otherwise, I like spring, yeah. And do you? Yeah, I love this time of year. Mm -hmm. It's probably my favorite. Although I love, I can, there's, something, there's something to love any time of the year, right? Every time of the year has something special about it. Um, but this time of year, April, early May, mm -hmm. beautiful. Like you said, flowers, nature coming, waking up, gorgeous. Yeah, I really like that as well. But yeah, I, um, I, I like the summer. Of course, it's my favorite season. Um, chilly, ta -da. What about you, How okay. your favorite season? Probably spring, mm. I think. Yeah, spring. Yeah. I, I would think I, I'm, I'm thinking of assumed autumn for you. Maybe, definitely either spring or autumn. I don't mm. like, I don't like, I mean, speaking personally, like you said, for me, I don't like the summer because I don't know what to wear. <laughs> yeah, I hate wearing, wearing t-shirts. I never wear shorts. I don't mm. own any shorts. So... And I don't like wearing like sandals. No, no, no. So I, I always am a bit hot and uncomfortable because I insist on maintaining my wardrobe, which is mostly like heavy shirts or sometimes, yeah, and like long trousers. So the summer can be difficult. Winter is out because it's just so dark and cold. Mm -hmm. It is quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it'll be spring or autumn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I quite like autumn because it often for me means over the last few years at least it's been it's been the start of new things. Byron, your cat. Or, even though um, I know spring is that like traditionally, but for example, I moved to Bologna in September. Um, I started my MA and I moved to Manchester in September four years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of things for me start in September after the summer holidays. It's kind of like a new beginning of the academic year. Hi, hey. Marcello. Welcome. Welcome to our webinar. Welcome. Yes. Where are you from? Let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, September is a significant season for you then. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually something happening, you know, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. happening. Um, should we introduce ourselves? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I will go this time, but I will introduce Hal. Okay. So um, everybody, this is Hal. He is 26 years old. 26? Okay. Perfect. 26 years old from the United Kingdom. So uh, he is from a small town, or, or okay, he's from an area called Woking which is in mm -hmm. Surrey. It's um, a bit southeast of, southeast of London, southwest, southwest, okay. Southwest of London. And um, he comes from, okay, I'm trying to remember. The village is named West, Bo, wow. West, Bo, By Fleet. West By Fleet. Okay, West By, by Okay, West Byfleet, which is west of Byfleet. 
<laughs> another small town. Um, and yes, so it's kind of a suburban area. He has been here for seven months in Italy. However, that includes two quarantine months and five actual months. Um, and yeah, he's been working with us. And that's how. Great. And this is wonderful Kate, who is from... Well, with a vagabond, with a with a traveling life, different parts of the U.S., but we will say Portland because mm -hmm. she lived there for four years. Mm -hmm. So Portland in the U.S. In um, wait, Portland, where is it? What state is it? It's in Oregon. Wait, wait, wait. Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, Portland, mm -hmm. Oregon, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Great. And um, what else? She has been living in Italy for four years. Yes. Right. Um, and also works at Bologna Mule. I can't remember for how long. Two years? Not two. Not yet. A year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah. And she has a wonderful cat called Byron mm. who might make an appearance. We don't know. It's up to him. Yep. He's a star, so he's very, you know, he's very selective. Mm -hmm. He thinks, oh, I'm on Maya's four to five, four seasons. Do I want to? Do I want to show myself? He needs to decide. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Exactly. Lucky. We might see him. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, ha, we'll see. Well done, Hal. Nice. Okay. Um, so, uh, Barcello says. My name is Marcello. I live in Legnano. I'm 30 years old, so years, and I'm a soldier. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Marcello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey. And then we have and Eulalia. We have... Hi, everyone. I'm Eulalia. I come from Mozambique, but I live in Italy, Rome. My school in my, I think my Maya school is Roma Pontolungo. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Um, you would probably say this is tiny, but let's say I live in Rome, Italy. You say the city first, right? And then mm -hmm. the country. Yeah. I live in Portland, Oregon, USA, mm -hmm. whatever. Exactly. Lovely. Okay. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, nice thank you. you. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Um, and so we have a question for you guys today. So here it is. Can you read that for me, Hal? Sure thing. Imagine, imagine you can only live in one season for the rest of your life. What season do you choose and why? Good question. I like it. Yeah. So imagine. Can I, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question about the question? Sure. If we choose this season, if we choose this season, does it include the kind of holidays and festivals of that season? Sure. Okay. And not the others. Yeah, exactly. Not the others. So, hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm in this case. I'm gonna say spring. Okay. I'm what? Say spring. An endless spring would be fine with me. Um, because, well, for me, it would be autumn or spring because. The temperature is more mild, therefore there's a bigger variety of kind of weather, essentially. There are things that you can enjoy doing inside on a rainy day, and there are things that you can enjoy doing outside when it's sunny, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I guess it's just slightly more beautiful to be around nature that's growing in spring than it is to be around nature going to sleep, even though the leaves of autumn, you know, the colors of autumn. No, actually, I'm going to choose autumn. If I'm going to, autumn. Okay, so you've autumn. changed your answer, autumn. Okay. Thinking of the oranges and browns of, mm -hmm. uh, of autumn, maybe switch autumn. I also quite like, um, like, I guess Halloween is in autumn. I love Halloween. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. And bonfire night in the UK, it's only in the UK, it's November. Third, no fifth. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I have fun at those things. Autumn. Autumn. Okay, um, fair enough. Um, 
Good. So autumn. That's a good answer, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I like autumn as well. My birthday mm -hmm. is in autumn, so you would think I would choose autumn. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, yeah. October. But for me, I think okay. I'd go for summer, an eternal summer. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Sure. I, um, I live for the sun. And even though I also have trouble sometimes finding the right clothes, um, I would live probably in the summer because there are always festivals everywhere and everything like that. And um, I love to travel. And so this is like the best season to be a prolific traveler. Um, so I would travel everywhere, yeah. Okay. Um, Marcello says, I love summer because I come from Sicily and there is a beautiful sea there. Great, perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. The summer is the best time to go to the beach. What a joy. I feel like also people are more open to new experiences, to new things in the summer, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's a bit of a cliche. But people are more kind of friendly and free in the summer months, whereas maybe autumn, winter, people kind of close in a bit, they stay at home more, they see their family more, they're less, they're less open to new things, I think. Um, yeah, exactly, absolutely. A bit more of an open mind in general. Um, so. And another comment, who is that? Let's see, yeah, we have Eulalia. I imagine I okay. I imagine I live a summer for the rest of my life because the summer is my favorite season. Um, I going in the beach. I eating ice cream, natural tea, and other fresh food. Okay, great. We don't want to use the in form here, Yudiala. We can just say I I go to the beach. I eat ice cream. If you want to express that you enjoy it, you could say, I like going, I like going to the beach. I like eating ice cream and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So, um, yeah, good job. And uh, yeah, so good, good. Well done. And Let's talk about that really quickly. Yeah, when we have like, love, or so hate, ah. negative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, love, hate. Um, we always add either, like Hal said, the infinitive, okay, I like to go to the beach, or, ah, and spell beach <laughs> or you can say i like going or um plus uh, the gerund or the verb and ing the gerunds yeah. so i like going to the beach okay and just keep that in mind also for the word prefer yeah the same common. thing right i prefer I prefer going to the beach in the summer mm -hmm. um, because I enjoy it more than more than other times. Exactly, good, really good, fantastic. Okay, nice job, everybody. So we're going to take a look at the focus activity. Here we are mm -hmm. with the four seasons. The four seasons, okay. beautiful. Okay, can you read that for me? Sure thing, the four seasons. In this focus activity, writing a paragraph, okay, using adjectives and describing feelings. Mm -hmm. And here in this picture, we have this little boy who mm -hmm. has fallen over, to fall over, he's fallen over in some leaves and they are autumn leaves. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, Autumn leaves. He's playing in the autumn leaves. How lovely. Mm -hmm. That's very sweet. So, ta da! Can you read for me? Number one, what is your favorite season? Why? Number two, what is your least favorite season and why? Number three, what can you do during your favorite season? 
And number four, what can't you do during your favorite season? Great. So we kind of have said these a bit before, but give us your answers to one, two, three, and four. Another thing maybe to note is the word during. So we have this strange word. What can you do during your favorite season? What can't you do during your favorite season? And during here means in the time of in the time of your favorite season. Mm -hmm. If I say, I don't know, um, don't, don't, I don't know, don't speak Italian during this lesson. I mean, don't speak Italian in the time of this lesson. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you say, I go to the beach during summer, I go to the beach in summer, in the time of summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another way of expressing that idea. Really nice. Okay. Um, Should we talk through them? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so number one, what is your favorite season? Let us know in the comments and also how. I You talked about it a bit at the beginning. Uh -huh, right at the top, but I can talk about it again, no problem. My favorite season is probably autumn. I can't decide today because maybe it's, do you know why? Do you know why? Because today it is spring and it's a, quite a beautiful day now. I'm looking out this window and we have, um, I don't know, I've got some trees on the avenue, on the road outside, and they're looking beautiful today. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm probably influenced by the fact that it is the middle of spring, the height of spring. Yeah. So in a way, spring, uh, if I step back, as we say, and think carefully, I'm going to say autumn is my favorite season mm -hmm. because usually there's something exciting happening. Um, and I love the colors. Colors in the autumn are beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's also a good time to visit cities, I feel, um, mm -hmm. just because the weather is usually quite mild. So it's not too warm to walk around a city all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the height the height mm -hmm. of the season right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah really nice okay yeah i i agree i love autumn a lot it you in the past it was my favorite season so um i i really enjoy it in general but now i i've changed a little as i've gotten older but yes this is very good nice um marcello says my least favorite season is winter because i'm very sad in Milan during winter, it's raining every day. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't like winter either. No. Um, um, yeah, winter probably my least favorite. Mm -hmm. um, also in the UK, also in Italy, but even more in the UK, the short days mean that they get really, really short sometimes. I don't know, in the middle of December, sometimes it can be dark by three o'clock, mm -hmm. 3 p.m., mm -hmm. which is really, really tough, actually. It's tough, it's hard, it's difficult, emotionally, usually, for some people. Um, so, less keen on winter. And I also have to say, obviously, Christmas is great, but it can be a bit overwhelming, you know? It's like, in the UK, again, it, Christmas goes on for, like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. It's very tiring. Um, mm. It's a bit much. Uh, and we have another comment from Yulia, Yulalia. Sorry, my favorite season is is summer. So no article here. Just my favorite season is summer because I like to go to the beach. I love ice cream and all fruit the next season. I love the colors of the clothes. Wonderful. Good job. So we have I like. Mm -hmm. To go, perfect. Like Kate said, I like to go to the beach. I love ice cream. And all fruit of, of I think, all fruit mm -hmm. of the season. Well, I'm not sure what you mean by next season here, mm -hmm. Juliana. Because if we're talking about summer, we mm -hmm. mean of the season, right? Seasonal mm -hmm. fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, we could say all the seasonal, so that's the adjective, mm. right? Fruit. Right, perfect. Yeah, we say it like here. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Okay. Yeah, nice. Um, really, really good job so far. So, 
Um, what can you do during your favorite season? Um, well, in summer, like Eulalia said, you can go to the beach or um, I enjoy actually just traveling, um, maybe sleeping mm-hmm. <laughs> outside. Yeah, uh, outside outdoors. in a park. Yes, it's uh, perfect. Summer fruit, like peach, great. Fruit peaches, peaches, melons. melons. Okay. Yeah. Remember your final S U Lavia. Good. Okay. What can't you and, do? Uh, what can't you do? In autumn, you can't. Mm, well, you can't spend in the UK. You can't spend loads of time outdoors usually because it often rains in the autumn at least for a part of the day it will rain but that's okay um but apart from that i mean you probably in the uk again and i guess in parts of italy as well maybe people don't want to swim in the sea in autumn i quite like swimming even if it's quite cold mm. but um it get very cold in the uk Actually, say in Scotland, mm. can't really stay at the beach. Mm, yeah. But other than that, you can you can do most things in autumn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can go look at pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, Marcello, great. I can do a lot of things in summer. For example, in August. I go on holiday. Cool. I go on holiday in mm-hmm. Sicily. I go to the sea every day. The English sea, we need to use the, the article. So go to the sea. Even if we're just we're just talking about any sea, really, but we have to say the sea, the sea, the sea every day. In the morning, great. I have running and in the evening i go to the disco okay cool in the morning i have running but marcello running is just a verb right in english it's just a verb on its own the verb we can say in the morning i run or i go running i go mm-hmm. running Good. and in the evening i go to the disco mm-hmm. Good. lovely so i put this here to go on holiday and also the sea the gym the internet they all use definite articles because they're specific things. Mm-hmm. My least favorite season is winter because I hate cold. Uh huh. In my country, it was summer always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can imagine yeah. in where, where were you? From? Um, Mozambique, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was always much warmer. How lovely. Yeah. How lovely. It's really nice. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, fantastic. So I think this is good. Now, can you read mm, What a beautiful question. Yeah, we have spring. Can you describe spring in three words? So Eulalia and Marcello, if you think of spring, then you have to choose just three words to describe spring, to tell us what spring means to you, what it means to you. Um, what three words would you use? Here we have a beautiful picture of, are they poppies? Um, no, well, there are tulips. Tulips, right? Yeah, there are pink Um, tulips, which is really pretty. Nice. Um, so three words for spring. I'm going to think as well. Um... Mm. I have three. Okay. Do you? Um, okay, go. And lively. I'd say for me, fresh, green, mm. and lively. Mm-hmm. Those are lovely. Yeah, and lively. Yeah. So, um, fresh meaning new. It's very similar to new. Fresh, new. Um, for example, um, I love eating fresh vegetables. Okay. Um, so that's an adjective, right? If something is fresh, it is. Um, it, it tastes good. It's new. It's. Um, 
usually we talk about weather or we talk about food as fresh. And then we have green, we know it's a color, okay? And then um, lively, which is an adjective that just means full of life. Full, full of life. life. Activity. Full of life and activity. Lively. What about you, Hal? I'm going to say they're similar. I like yours a lot. But, um, mm -hmm. Mine are a bit different. So I said vibrant, which is essentially the same thing as lively, right? Mm -hmm. Vibrant, synonym of lively. Maybe mm -hmm. it also has a slight idea of lots of color and energy. Mm -hmm. A vibrant, I don't know, a vibrant apartment it makes me think of something that has, you know, lots of color. There's lots of exciting things in it. Yeah. Um, and then I put young, mm -hmm. young. Because I kind of, when I think of spring, I think of, yeah, things growing, things being born. So not old things, but like, I don't know, like babies, like bunnies or lambs or mm -hmm. <laughs> young, yeah. young things. Um, and also optimistic. Mm -hmm. I feel like in general, people, not everyone, obviously, but in general, by the time we get to March, mm -hmm. people are often quite positive about Mm -hmm. Well, they're kind of excited for the summer, I think. So they're looking forward to the summer. Mm -hmm. So people start to feel optimistic about things. Um, yeah. Good. Very good vocabulary. Really good. Yeah. Nice. Optimistic. Similar to positive. Positive, right. Like a positive. good future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You love um, this. Go ahead. Okay, great. I love the spring because it's a good season. I have beautiful flowers. So carefully, and other people have hay fever. Okay, so the first part is cool. I love the spring because it, new clause, we need a subject because it, the spring, is a good season. I have beautiful flowers. So carefully, I'm not sure what you mean, Eulalia. Um, Maybe I keep them carefully? Yeah, maybe because other people have hay fever. Exactly. This is true. People with hay fever maybe don't like spring. Yeah, we call, it, we call it hay fever. Hay fever. Looks like that. That's good. Good. Really nice. Okay. Uh, if you're still with us, Marcello, also let us know what are your three words for spring as well. I like this. This is all really good. Um, let's I guess they, they don't have to be adjectives. They can be anything. Yeah. Right? In the meantime, can you read the questions, Hal? Sure. Number one, what do you see in spring? Number two, what are the colors of spring? Number three, what is the weather like? Number four, how do you feel in spring? And number five, do you like spring? Why or why not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what do you see in spring, Hal? Daffodils. Daffodils, daffodils, daffodils. They're my favorite flower. Oh, they're just the most wonderful thing. Yes, they're, they're just the most wonderful thing. So yeah. daffodils before anything else. Oh, Great flower. 100%. It is sincerely my favorite flower. And I love that they can, they just kind of appear in lots of places, like on a roadside or on a roundabout or something like a, a you know you don't have to go to a nice garden to see daffodils you just see them all over the place in the spring that's right and you want to, do you want to know why yeah no tell me i don't know why actually please the reason why is because all you only ever need to plant daffodils one time and then every year ah. they will come back on their own Okay, they like recur, they come back. That's that's amazing. Okay, it's like a symbol of reason. Yeah, okay, Fantastic. I didn't know that. How lovely! Mm -hmm. My husband and my daughter have so they have in English with most kind of illnesses or problems, we can use the verb to have. They have hay fever, so the spring is mm -hmm. a bad season for mm -hmm. them. For them, my husband. My daughter, mm -hmm. they object them. It's a bad season for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the spring is a bad season for them. Yeah, definitely. So this is what it says. Okay, good, good, good. 
Marcello says, I see a lot of flowers and birds. Good, fantastic. Nice, Eulalia says, in the spring I see trees bloom. Perfect, bloom, mm -hmm. lovely verb. The trees bloom, all the flowers come out. Oh, no problem, Eulalia. You're welcome. What do the colors have? Um, yellow, like daffodils. <laughs> Yellow, green, um, I think those are the main two for me mm -hmm. that I think of. Um, a nice, yeah, a daffodil yellow and then like green grass. Um, yeah. I also you? think of pink. And yeah. when I was maybe 13 or 14 years old, I lived mm -hmm. in a really rural place uh, in the countryside on a horse farm. We were renting okay. a little farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. And wow. in, our, um, in our yards, we had these beautiful apple trees. Oh, and wow. every spring, I don't know if you know this, but apple, apple trees have these delicate white and pink blooms. So it yeah, it's gorgeous. It smells really good as well. Um, and so I always had this, like the petals would scatter everywhere, kind of like cherry blossoms. And so I would always have this idea that when spring was arriving, I would see it on the trees. Um, so in my mind, it's like pink, uh, pink wow. lights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also a bit of purple. I like lilacs. Uh, I think of spring. When I think of yeah, lilacs. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Ooh. anyway, it's very colorful season. So like lots of colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my color of spring is water green. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe sea green? Sea green, that's the word. Yeah, sea you would say green. Sea, sea green. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, nice. It's oh, nice. very specific. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Marcello, tell us your, your colors of spring. Yeah. Really, really pretty colors. And I love pink tulips. I love tulips. I love flowers, flowers yeah. and butterflies for me. When I was a young girl, one thing I really loved doing was I would visit my grandparents who were also uh -huh. very, even more in the countryside somehow. And, um, you know, my grandmother had an herb garden and there okay. were pillars on wow. the, all over the different herbs. All over them, like everywhere, okay. Yeah, like everywhere. So what I would do is I would take the caterpillars and I would put them in a little terrarium. So a little space, a plastic space I made with air holes and things. And I would try to raise them until they became butterflies. Wow. Yeah, is and I think, no, um, okay. they die a lot. So okay. it was depressing, um, but, it, I was successful one time, and I remember how incredibly excited I was when I saw one day watching television that suddenly there was a butterfly in in the in the terrarium, and I let it free. Wow! wow. How long does it take for them to go through that process? Weeks, weeks. weeks so okay. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's really, it's really fascinating to watch. And yeah. um, unfortunately, my father totally ruined it because then I was really excited and, and I asked him, or I don't remember what I said, but he told me that they, the butterflies only live a few days. Okay. And I was like, why would you tell me that now? Like, I just spent yeah. months raising this thing. And is it, is it only a few days? It's, it's not very long anyway. No, maybe a week. I'm not sure, honestly, but it's not very long. Yeah, that's not what you tell a child who is just who is just cared for one of these beautiful creatures. No, poor choice of words. Um, not in the case with certain people. Okay. <laughs> Marcello, today the weather is sunny, but there are a few clouds here. Perfect, and I think that is probably in Italy very typical spring weather, right? Same in Bologna. Mm -hmm. It's it's like blue with these lovely fluffy clouds. That's what I think of when I think of spring. In the UK, we have a thing called April showers. 
April for April showers, which is short, quick, hard rain, lots of rain very quickly. The April showers, which is obviously a phenomenon in the weather in April, usually, obviously. But the spring in general in the UK is, is often quite wet, but like the, the rain goes very quickly and then it will be a sunny day. And we have that nice combination. Mm -hmm. April showers bring May flowers, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. April showers bring May flowers. Okay. Yes, today the, it is also very sunny in San Giovanni um, as well. Uh, but a few, there are a few clouds. Good. Today the weather is very bad in Rome. It's raining. Oh, I'm sorry. It was sorry. raining in Bologna yesterday. Yeah. Also here. I'm sure it will pass. It will pass quickly. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. <coughs> Your weather is good soon. Good soon. It's good. Okay. Um, um, so why don't we actually move on? We spent a lot of time on spring, but I want us to also get to summer. So, yeah. summer. Can you summer. describe summer in only one word? One. Uh, mm, that's, it's harder with one, right? Because you have to choose carefully. Yeah. Um, I would say alive. Oh, that's so good. Alive. That's so good. Alive. Yeah. That's good. Right. Um, Let me see. Okay. We got. Uh, oh, did we see this from Marcello? I don't think so. I like spring because I think that the next season is summer, and because of spring, in the spring, uh huh, there are many colors. Right? Perfect. Okay. Really wonderful. And then, Great, great, great word. Summer is happiness. Yeah. So we have summer is alive, summer is happiness, summer is color, summer is hot. Okay, it's my turn. I can't think. Summer is. Um, For you, summer is hell. Summer is hell. Summer is bad fashion. No. <laughs> <laughs> summer. What is distressing. Summer? summer is distressing. Um, Swimming. I mm. love swimming. Mm -hmm. I tend to do lots of swimming in the summer. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love it. Swim, swam. Swimming. Yeah. yeah. Really, really nice. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Um, ooh, summer is like nice. always. Great. We do yeah. like a good summer here. Ah, nice. Nice. Yeah, I agree. So let's take a look at some of these questions as well. Ba -doop. I read, number one, what happens in summer? What activities can you do in summer? What can't you do? What is the weather like? Ooh, what do you eat during summer? Do you like summer? Why or why not? Okay. Yeah, so what happens in the summer? Well, we travel, that's true. Okay. Um, like you said, we do lots of swimming. Um, it's very hot. Uh, what else? In the summertime, uh, I often, so personally, I often go to the park um, because okay. I have a hobby where I dance with hula hoops, like uh, circus uh -huh. style. And um, it's something that's difficult to do even in a large apartment because the, the hoops can be quite dangerous when they go flying everywhere. Um, if you if you make a mistake and then you suddenly have broken something, so yeah. uh, I try to be more careful at home. And then in the summer, I can finally go outside and enjoy myself in an open space, mm -hmm. and it's nice and hot. So that's what I do a lot. Um, I sleep in the grass. What can't you do? Or what what do you do, Hal? And what can't you do? What do I do? Summer parties, 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 and go, going out a lot to clubs or bars, that's what I think of. Mm -hmm. um, what can't you do? You can't wear turtlenecks. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I try to, I try my best, I can't wear 
jumpers. I can't wear sweaters. Never mind. Um, can't. I find it harder to to focus, maybe write or read out in the summer. Mm. I often get up early and try and do that first thing, and then go to a park mm. because mm. it gets very hot, and the outside is so inviting, so tempting, so exciting. It's hard to stay home on your own and work on something, you know, because you just want to be outside, asleep in the sun. No, um, I can't wait. Um, and you can eat ice cream every day, if possible, sometimes yeah. twice a day. We'll have, um, yeah, we'll have lots of gelato. gelato, gelato. Every opportunity, you can have ice cream. Um, yeah, and I think I associate it with, you know, socializing with friends more than the other seasons, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I'm excited for it here. One of the things I know, we haven't said this yet, one of the things I love about Italy, compared to the UK at least, and lots of other places, is that the seasons here are so distinct. Mm -hmm. It's just wonderful. Like, mm -hmm. They're very, very clear as part of the year. Mm -hmm. And it kind of is very satisfying. Mm -hmm. And you can tell even from the way people talk about the seasons here that it's a very significant part of the kind of cycle of the year. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the UK, obviously the seasons are there and they exist and people notice them. But they're less kind of sharp, they're less clear, I feel. Mm -hmm. By which I mean there's more rain all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Whereas in Italy, maybe more than anywhere else that I've ever been, there's like very clear three month blocks around the year, which are quite distinct and it's mm -hmm. lovely. That's true, lovely. that's true. Yeah, I, um, I definitely agree with you there. I will say in my experience, um, Italy is very similar to, well, Bologna, okay, so Northern Italy. I don't want to generalize, generalize too much, but well, sure, um, yeah, well, exactly. central, central because we're in the center really. So like center, like the center of the country here is very similar to, um, in terms of the weather to Maryland. So the East Coast in the okay. middle of America. Yeah. The humidity is about the same and there is there are very distinct seasons. Culturally, obviously it's very different because people really care about the weather here more than other places, but the weather itself is actually quite similar. And um, it's a bit nicer here, I think, in my opinion, but uh, also, I will say that in Portland, it's more similar to England. Like you, um, it's, uh, you know, you get a lot of rain there in general. And um, yeah, I think that you notice the seasons, definitely, but I think it's, it's less distinct. And so it's sure. easy to sort of see how they sort of kind of blend and muddy together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Blend. Yeah. Um, what's the weather like? Hot. Hot. Hot, it's, hot, hot. It's hot. Uh, there is sun. So blue skies. So yeah. And uh, what do you like to eat during the summer? Gelato. Ooh. Ice cream. Yeah, Ice cream. Um, just gelato. Um, that's what eat. Fish. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, nice. And fish. I really love fish, um, but only in the summertime. The rest of the time, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm not a fish girl in general. I have to be like in a Amalfi having, you know, fresh. Uh, I see. Yeah. Then, then. And then yeah. I'm. I don't always eat fish, but when I do, I'm in Amalfi <laughs> having a freshly caught. Or in Sicily. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. um, Dalia, in summer I can do the swimming, I can do a walk, I can eat fresh food. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So I can swim. I can swim. Can it's swim? a verb in English to swim. So you can just say, I can swim. And the same for walk. We don't need two auxiliaries. We have can. We don't need do. So we can say, I can swim. I can walk. I can eat. Fresh food. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. You can say I can plus infinitive. You can say I can go swimming yeah. if you like. 
Um, but either, either or. It's good. It's good. The weather I like is hot forever. Aha. Me too. So the summer, yeah. But I don't like humidity. No, that's true. You want to dry heat with some wind, ideally, and a slight mm -hmm. breeze. Yeah, and some water nearby. Oh, excited. Um, and what do I eat during the summer? I guess I think of like lighter things, right? Like mm -hmm. salads or vegetables. I'm not going to mm -hmm. sit down and eat like a big steak. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but I agree with you. I like having like very light things like, okay, if I'm going to have something that is like not pasta, but similar, I could have maybe a, a nice risotto. But I think in general, yeah, I, I prefer um, like fish, like some kind of seafoods or um, if I'm going to have pasta, it's going to have seafood in it probably. Um, sure. Fruit, lots of fruit. Fruit, 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 yeah, definitely. Okay. Fruit. Just fruit. Yeah, I just, I survive on fruit, I think, in the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the summer, I eat, like uh, Hal said earlier, you want that infinitive, fruit, the uh, fruit. So, for example, peaches, and we need the, the S, M mangoes, okay? And I drink an alcohol, um, so you would say non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. okay. Non-alcoholic. We also have another. Um, if you're, if you prefer virgin cocktails. So this means that it doesn't it has no alcohol. Non-alcoholic or virgin cocktails. Like, also, in the UK, we sometimes say mocktails. Do you say that? Mock yeah, that's cute. Mocktails. Like they're fake. Yeah, they're not they're not, real. They don't have alcohol. I like it. Yeah, I actually um, have a bar here that makes a really lovely mojito. Um, and it's a mocktail. Sometimes she'll just give me the everything but the alcohol. And then it's really, really good. Yeah, uh, yeah if I'm in the mood to not drink. Uh -huh. um, Go ahead. Um, and the last question, do you like the summer? I think we all agree here. It's a great time of year. It is. It's wonderful. Um, Maybe not yeah. for fashion, for poor Hal. Maybe not for me, why? Fashion. For, oh, for fashion, yeah, absolutely not. I just um, like a big, like a good coat, you know, and I miss mm -hmm. that in the summer. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. people look great when they have a cool coat on that, that works for them. And in the summer, I, I miss that. I feel like I can, I kind of am like um, imagining you in my mind. And I, th I think you could really work something that is like cheating, kind of. You could do like a mm -hmm. short sleeve, um, just like a plain t-shirt. Um, mm -hmm. But you could have like a hip wrap. So you could have like a plaid or like, or some kind of flannel or something on the hips tied. Mm -hmm. So as mm -hmm. soon as it becomes an acceptable temperature, like in the evenings for you to throw it back on, you can throw it on. Yeah. But then you have yeah. that there. And then you can wear some nice cargos with some nice khakis, maybe with like, that match sort of that beige neutral t-shirt that I'm imagining and like the red flannel. And then you can kind of um, have that obscure, like have the long cargos. So mostly your legs are mostly obscured. And then like the hip wrap will sort of kind of take care of that. You just described what I do do. So that's exactly right. <laughs> Hang on. Wow. I right mean, on. I just wear a t-shirt with a, with a, usually with an open shirt. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. Unless really really hot i will just keep it on with the sleeves rolled up but open mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um, exactly. yeah okay there you go uh, final comment perfect what a final comment because i can go and make this i make a mocktail very green uh -huh, okay it's very green with ginger pineapple orange and lemon that sounds delicious that sounds really, really nice. delicious nice i wish it was um, Wish it were summer now. Okay. Maybe that. okay, we'll we'll get there. Yeah, I I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're almost finished. Um, uh huh. Let's do a very very super quick um, review. So non-alcoholic cocktails we said are called mocktails, 
or virgin cocktails or non-alcoholic yeah good job okay so what um what is a word that's similar to positive we have optim optimistic yeah there you go good when you have allergies um, that are by season it is hay fever to have hay fever mm -hmm. okay um some examples of things that need definite articles Ooh, what did we say the sea the internet the gym good okay and there are some others but we're out of time um thank you for joining us so much and have a lovely afternoon and see you again soon okay take care everyone thank you